G'day guys, well today we're going to be doing a removal and installation of a awning skin on our Jayco pop top. Now there's a few steps, so uh, follow along. Alright, so obviously prior to installation we need to order an awning skin, so we need to crack out the trusty tape measure and take a couple of key measurements. Now basically if you just order your exact same awning skin, everything should work, but the manufacturer is going to want a couple of other measurements. Now what we need to do is work out the measurement from the centre of arm to centre of arm, that's one, one measurement that you're going to want. And also, if you're running an anti-flap kit, we need to uh, take the measurement from hole to hole. All right, so now we're ready for installation. Uh, we've got our awning skin. Um, it's time to do, start the install. Now, what we need to do is assemble the awning back to about 90% of its travel position. And what that does is takes the load off the spring here. So there's two big springs inside each roller tube. And what we need to do is detension them. Um, but, but first, we need to uh, take the awning off the van. So now with the awning uh, basically put back 90%, we need to undo these four bolts on either arm um, so that we can then take this off. So on either end of the actual existing awning in, in the sail track, there's actually a couple of screws. So what we need to do is just remove those two screws and then we can then slide the, uh, the awning out. All right, so with all the screws removed now, what we need to do is we need to take these arms off and they basically unclip and we'll clip them back into the actual channel itself. Uh, and then we'll do the same on the other end and you're probably going to need someone else to give you a hand and then we can basically then slide it all the way off. Cool. Alright, so now we've got the, uh, the awning on the ground, what we need to do now is detension the springs. So, uh, basically on the uh, uh, roller tube here, there's a little, um, obviously a cam, which you use to sort of pull your awning in and out and sort of locks it in. We need to uh, disengage that, but what we also need to do is count the amount of turns the drum takes to fully unwind, because that's the tension we're going to put back on uh, when we go put the new awning skin on. So what you do is just basically just click on the tension, make sure you're holding the, uh, the, the roller fairly firm, and we want to count how many times it turns. So undo that, we might need to engage it. So. We normally count by the screw, so once, twice, three, four, five, around about five to six turns. So when we go to actually uh, put the, uh, the new uh, skin back on, we'll wind it up six times. All right, so what we need to do now is on the actual arm itself, uh, we need to uh, basically uh, unbolt the actual uh, spring spline uh, away from the actual arm itself. So grab a, uh, this one here is an 11 mil, so we'll undo that, and then we can then remove the arm. And it just simply comes across like that. And then from there, we've got a, uh, so some, some tubes may have a rivet that holds this in, the actual end in, the spring. Uh, in this case, this one's actually, um, Looks like it's been replaced before, and it's a, uh, a square drive. So all we do is simply just unscrew these on both sides. And now we can simply remove the, uh, the spring. So now with the two arms disconnected, we need to uh, unroll the existing awning skin. You simply just grab this. So now we've unrolled the uh, the awning. You'll probably see here on either end of the actual awning, there's probably a little stainless steel screw in. Now, what this does is a spline, a plastic spline that runs along here, um, and it holds the actual uh, awning skin to the actual tube, as well as. There's another bit that sort of slides in here. So what we'll have to do is uh, un undo that, uh, and then we can slide the tube out. But if you just come over here, Mick, I'm actually just leaving this, uh, this pull um, rope in, and that'll just give us the reference to know which spline we're actually gonna be using um, for the actual orientation of the skin.
Right, so now taking the roller tube and marrying it up to the actual awning skin, what we want to do is we want to take this uh, bit of plastic uh, tubing here and we want to slide it in to start it and then get our awning skin, give it a little bit of a twist and then basically we want to slide this awning tube all the way on. Right, so now you've got your roller tube on, you've slid it all the way on to your awning skin. What we want to do is just center the actual awning skin to the actual roller tube. So get out, get out your trusty tape measure and measure. So this end I've got about 60 mil. I know at the other end I've got about 50, so I've just got to slide this tube about five mil back that way. Perfect. All right, so now we've got the, uh, the drum on into position. Uh, it's nice and even on each end. What we need to do now is just get the uh, drum and sort of roll it back onto the actual awning sleeve itself. And what we need to do is just take a bit of plastic and see if on this second spline here, uh, you can see here, what we need to do is then grab our bit of plastic and we need to sort of tuck that awning skin into this bit of plastic. And it will take a little bit of effort to sort of push that in. And what we need to do is just go all the way along uh, until we get it nice and even. So then we can actually then stick this little tube in. Uh, so once you get towards the end, it's going to be a little bit tricky to sort of push from the other end uh, because it just wants to sort of bind up. So get a little bit of silicon spray. Spray the, uh, the, the space here. And then if you've got a little pick tool, you can then grab that uh, into the spline and then pull that through. All right, so now the, uh, the spline is all the way through. All we need to do is get a nice sharp blade, cut off either end, flush with the drum, like so. And same with the other end. So now we've cut the uh, ends off, uh, now it's time to reinsert the spring. But as you can probably see, the spring does get a little bit rusty because it does get a little bit of moisture and stuff in it. So what we'll do is we'll spray that with a bit of WD-40 uh, just to lubricate it. All right, so now we've lubricated the springs, now it's time to insert the actual spring. So we just take the spring and we slide it in. And then what we want to do is on this particular carefree awning, just line up the holes and then put our screws back in. Right, so now both of the uh, the springs are on. What we need to do now is uh, grab our mate Mick over there, and we're going to hand roll this uh, awning back on. All right, so now it's time to uh, tension the spring. So this is the non cam lock end. Um, so this is the left hand side of the actual awning. Now, if you can see this here, there's a little cutout here, and basically there's a little little hole there. And what we're going to be doing is tensioning this uh, spring up, so the same orientation as if there was more material on the actual um, awning uh, drum itself, we're going to tension the spring up. So we're going to around about five and a half, six turns, and basically what we want to do is be able to finish it so that this actual um, uh, arm hardware here is in line here, so we can insert a, uh, a stopper there to stop the spring from unwinding. So we'll tension it up, so one, two, Three, four, five, and we'll go around to here. Six, we'll grab the pin. Could be just a, uh, even just a uh, pop rivet or something. And just slide that in, and that'll then tension up. So that's now ready. Now, now we'll go to the other end. All right, so this is the, uh, the cam lock end. We need to basically do it exactly the same as what we did as the other end. However, we don't need a little stopper because the cam lock will, will be engaged. So we need to turn this six times and basically it's got to be in the same orientation as the spline so we finish up. So we turn it around. You can hear that nice ratcheting. So that's once, twice, three times, four times. Starting to get quite tough now. Five times, once more, around. And six. All right, so all we've got left to do now is uh, assemble the uh, actual um, arm onto the actual awning, and then we can slide it on.
All right, so now it's time to get back on the ladder and then we're gonna walk the, uh, the awning skin on. So what, it, what I've done is I've actually undone the awning skin a little bit and I've also extended the legs up to around about the height of the sail track or just, just thereabouts. Um, that'll just make it easier to walk on. Right, so now the uh, awning skin is into the position. What we'll do is just drop our leg down to the bottom. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna then go and head and put it into the actual mounting position. Put that in. And now we'll go ahead and secure these arms to the van. All right, so now we're at the point uh, we've got the awning on. Now we, what we need to do is uh, grab the, uh, the awning, pull it in and out a few times, let it self-seat on the actual drum. Uh, and then once we've got that, then we can then uh, fix it off. All right, so now we've got the awning skin on uh, and it's nice and straight. Everything seems to be rolling smoothly. Just grab a, uh, a self-tapping screw and we're gonna put it through the actual uh, spline here. Uh, into the caravan. All right, so just at the top here, there's a couple of extra screws um, we're gonna put in, and that'll just help secure the uh, awning fabric. So just to make sure that the awning skin doesn't move on the actual roller, um, we're just gonna put a, uh, a little screw uh, through the actual spine and into the tube, and that'll stop that from moving. There we have it guys, there's the uh, installation all done. Probably about an hour and a half in sort of total, but it does require a second person. So thanks to Mick uh, for giving us a hand. Now, uh, in terms of where to get your own, so this uh, awning was from RV Parts Australia. Now you can go over, head over their website and, and check them out. Now this was an Aussie Traveller awning um, skin. So they do come in sort of custom sizes or stock sizes. So uh, chat to the guys there at RV Parts. Now if you've got any questions or comments, uh, drop them down below. And until next time, we'll catch you around. Cheers.